Hello you guys, welcome back to Channel Claire. I hope that you're having a lovely day and uh, happy 420 if you partake. I know that I do in whatever form you partake in. I hope that you enjoy it. Have a lovely day. I feel like, and I didn't even um, plan it, but like I've got like gifts for my 420. They all came in the mail at the same time today, which I'm really happy. So I'm going to share that with you and then like gifts for myself, obviously. But um. But it's like, obviously other people are celebrating in my complex because as soon as I walked in like the door, the first unit, it like hit me in the face. Like that first unit is fucking blazing without a care. They didn't put a goddamn towel under the door. They didn't spray for breeze. They didn't open a whip. They gave no fucks. So they're enjoying their 420. So that's all I'm saying. I hope that you guys are enjoying it too if you do partake. So I'm just going to... One moment. I feel like I'm getting back to my old self, you guys. Like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So, first line of business, which I was really excited about, and I've been watching these shoes for a minute, and I really like Doc Martin because they're quality shoe. I know I'm gonna have it forever. I have a pink sparkly pair of sandals that I love, I wear them to death, and I have some boots. But I saw these, I had been watching them. I love a big ass chunky platform, like that's just my thing. And I was like, ugh, my shoes are still in storage for at least a month before I move. And I'm not digging through all of that. So I need a sandal that I can wear while it gets warm because it's like freaking hot in here, as you can see. I'm like sweating, ugh, 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 it's hot in here. So I needed a sandal. I saw these, the shipping was quick and I pulled the plug and I think I'm going to love them. I have not opened them yet. They're like Doc Martens and I hope that they look just like the picture or I'm going to be so sad if they do. Look at that platform. Look at that effing platform. Oh God. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much, but these look kind of big, so hold up now. I think I ordered an eight. Hold up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I just got to uh, tighten the straps up on here. Oh, they're so comfortable. There's, there's, look at that. Look, you can't even see. Look at that. It's so cute, you guys. If you want a quality sandal, go on Doc Martin. You're going to have it forever. Literally never getting rid of these. I'm never getting rid of my pink sparkly ones or my boots. I just think that they're a great investment. And they have this cushion in here. So you can, it seems like you can like wear it at the beach. You can get it wet. Like, and it's really soft. So this is a good shoe you can walk around in in the summer, go to the parks, do whatever you do. So definitely recommend that. And then I saw these press-ons on Amazon. You know I'm obsessed with press ones I don't have any on currently I'm gonna put these on and they're so cute they have stars Oop. here they go I don't know if you'll be able to see them but look at that look and I love the almond shape and it has like the little rhinestones and stuff and the little stars and I think these are like $7.99 so pretty good deal you get multiples of it so you have like even another set after that I'm never going back to the nail salon I'm never going back to the nail salon I will never go back to the nail salon until like I think I'm about to get proposed to and I'll then I'll maybe have a professional do it and that's just like that's a strong strong maybe because I, I can find a press one that could probably look a lot better than the shit they be doing and then the nail shop like they always make you feel bad for like complaining or if it's not done right and like I feel bad because it's like you want to support a small business but the times I started going in there it was it just never came out right it just never and, and the quality just was not you can't say shit and it just becomes like an uncomfortable situation so like I love putting on my press on nails it's actually like really therapeutic for me I can sit there watch my shows drink my wine, do my do, and it's everything. But moving on to the last thing I wanted to share with you guys, which is really random. 
and I thought TikTok was going to be banned, but it hasn't yet. Not apparently, because I'm still on there. And I was watching this, I saw TikTok, and you guys know about Grey Gardens and um, Big E, Little Edie, and what is his name? Fred? Oh, I have to figure out their names. Hold on. Okay, so it's um, Fred Armstein and Bill Hader. And I've seen both of them, like I know who they are. I've definitely seen Fred in Portlandia. I used to watch that show. Like, yo, that's my type of humor. So like, if you, like that's the type of stuff I find funny, whatever. So I was on TikTok and I came across this TikTok of a parody of Bill Hader and Fred doing Grey Gardens as like Big Edie, Little Edie. And they turned it into like this murder mystery at the end and it was so good. I just saw the clip on TikTok and then that made me want to go on YouTube and watch the whole effing thing and I just thought it was brilliant. So if you want to check it out, it's Fred Armstein, Bill Hader and they're doing like the Grey Gardens. I think it's like Sandy Passage or something like that. It was good. I loved it if you have that type of humor. So then, then I went down the rabbit hole of watching parts of the documentary of the actual Grey Gardens. And I saw a little Edie who was reading this book. <laughs> and I like astrology and all of that jazz. I find it very interesting. And she was reading the book, It's All in the Stars, and talking about her husband or her Libra husband or something like that. And she was going through the book and it's by Zolar. And I was just like, hmm, that's interesting. I need to really read a book. And it definitely interests me and it has like all the signs. So I'm like, I'm ready. And it's supposed to be like old. So I'm like, give me some knowledge in my head. And it's so, oh, they have like the days. So what's some of the, so that's the front. And this isn't the original cover that um the original cover that was in i wanted that one but it cost a little bit more so i just went with the reprinted this one let me see is there a table of contents aries i'm an aries march 21st april 20th the sign aries and its symbolic aspects represents the sacrifice the flocks and the herds bring forth their young during the portion of the year that the sun occupies this sun. The symbol of the sign is the ram. The ram also symbolizes spring when the light and love symbolized by the sun are bestowed upon the sons of the earth. The sun once more has gained victory over the realms of winter. The sign Aries represents the head and brains and the grand man of the, com of the cosmos. The gems of the sign are amethyst and diamond. The fortune day is Tuesday, the fortunate numbers are seven and six. Oh, my favorite number is seven, seven and three. Um, the colors are shades of bright red. Oh, I like red, but I never really wear red. I wear a lot of black. Um, best locations for success are large cities. I do like the city. I like the beach a lot too, but I do like the city. I've always wanted to like live in the city city, but then I also feel like it could be really overwhelming. What else? Aries is the first and highest emanation of the fiery triplicity and is located in the constellation of the planet Mars. Okay, it radiates an influence with sharp, energetic, thoughtless, intrepid, and fierce. It is without either fear or timid or timidity. Oh, uh, maybe I'm a different type of Aries because I do. I feel like I'm kind of. I've lived in a lot of fear, unfortunately, and I do find myself to be kind of timid, but maybe that's not my nature. I need to shake my shit out of, like, shake myself out of it. Um, an influence which is free with everything and everybody. Addressing an Aries, I would say, you have an active and dynamic personality. The expression which you give to your mind and emotions determines the actual degree of personal, social, and economic process. Let me read that again. The expression which you give your mind emotions and emotions determines the actual degree okay of personal social and economic progress and success you will experience in life you have natural charming manners and good mental power you are fond of having others look up to you you have the happy faculty of exercising duplicity diplomacy to swing others toward interesting themselves 
in you or acting upon your ideas and suggestions. Hmm. This is really interesting. You have within yourself the voice of intuition. It will give you the foresight and help you master many difficult problems and obstacles. And I don't listen to my intuition a lot, which Jesus, in the course of life, intuition can provide you with happy faculty of uh, d divining the causes your failure of your failures and help you eliminate them, thus enabling you to progressively more successful life. This is interesting. Let me know if you guys want to like, if you have, oh, it goes into the Aries child, the Aries wife. So I'm pretty sure it does it for every single sign. The Aries husband. Interesting. And then it goes into the birthdays. If the birthday is between the April 1st, or if the birthday is between the 21st and 31st. Okay, yeah. Let me know if you guys have one you want me to read for you. If you have a sign or a birthday, I will definitely do it. This is so cool. Okay, so it says, if the birthday is between March 21st and March 31st, that's me, I'm the 31st, your personal and ruling planet is Mars. I think I knew that which is doubly forceful in this aspect. Mars will tend to bring out the more dominant, dictatorial, and positive side of your nature. There is a tendency to become impatient and irritable with others because they may not have the ability to think and act as quickly as you do. That's kind of shade, but kind of fucking true because I feel like my mind is like thinking so fast and, and I move fast and that kind of trips me up sometimes and... I do sometimes feel like, okay, like, like in conversation, like it, I, this is spot on, this shady, but I'm self-aware and that that's true. That's true. That's fucking true. Oh, damn. Okay. What else? It is highly important to practice tolerance, patience, and understanding an active body and, 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 and Lord, what is that word? I-M-P-E-T-U-O-U-S. I gotta look that up. Spirited nature are shown by the double aspect of the planet Mars in your chart. You are capable of acquiring and retaining a great amount of knowledge without much effort. I think that's kind of true. Your personality will be, your personality will always be aggressive. <laughs> I think I have an aggressive personality. Like, I do resonate with some things with Aries and maybe I do have an aggressive personality for all I know. Maybe that's the problem. Like, I, I don't know. Independent, temperamental and persevering. Oh, shade, temperamental. Okay, avoid a, I mean, it, it's, it's kind of fucking true and I can be self-aware of myself. Like I am not perfect by far. Uh, avoid a tendency to talk too much and monopolize conversation. While you may have many original ideas, you prefer to have others execute them for you. Your best results will be obtained when you are permitted to assume leadership. I think that's kind of true. Shady, but fucking true. Huh. I want to look up all these people now in my life. <laughs> and look up their birthdays and see if it correlates though. Let me stop. But no, this is so cool. So I'm going to get into this. I'm going to learn me a thing or two. Learn me a thing or two. All thanks to TikTok, watching the Fred Armstein and Bill Hader spoof, and then going to watch Grey Gardens. Like, how random can life be? But those are my 420 festivities. I'm actually going to go and do my nails. Cannot wait. Maybe I'll come back and show you guys how they turned out. Take one more puff. Is my thing dead? Okay, no. It could never be. That was good. That was really good. But yes, you guys, I am, can't wait to have my feet out all summer and my sandals. And I'm feeling a lot better, and I hope that you guys are too. Like I said, I might come back here at some point, or it may just end here. Who knows? I don't know. But yes, if it does end here, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your 420, wherever you may be in this crazy world, and what 
whatever form you may take it and partake do your do just do it so they ended up coming out really good i love them i love them i love them i love them look at that i don't know if you guys can see but yeah i mean don't waste your money because they're gonna charge you what like upwards of 80 bucks to get your nails done for a full set I was leaving out of there paying way too much plus the tip and this is $7.99. $7.99. So I'm just not going back and I absolutely love it. So that is it for today, you guys. I hope that you have a great rest of your 420, your Thursday, and I'm going to go do what I do and I'll see you in another video.